Mahomes, two touchdowns and the win. Patrick Mahomes joins us live, and I want to go straight to that last drive for you guys. Third and 12 on your own 33 there. You hit Byron Pringle for that 37-yard game, the longest play of the game. Take us through how that went down. Yeah, it was a, it was a play where it was designed. It wasn't designed to go to to Pringle, but uh, I had to scramble obviously, and I extended the play. And he did a great job of getting across the field, and so uh, we, made, we made the right plays when they counted. Obviously, we want to keep keep improving and keep getting better, but uh, we, we found a way to beat a good football team. Patrick, somebody you know pretty well was watching the game, and she seems to be a pretty big Clyde edwards alaire fan. It was your mom, by the way. I'm not sure if you can see the tweet. Uh, she said Clyde edwards alaire is now her second favorite chief. Uh, just wondering, he was awesome tonight. He had over 160 yards rushing, but Lev Bell is going to be in the fold here very soon. How much better can this offense actually get when you add a weapon like Lev Bell? I mean, obviously, it's going to help us out a ton. I mean, Clyde has been improving week by week, getting better and better, and obviously it showed today. And then adding a guy that's not dynamic as uh, Le'Veon is, I mean, it's just going to keep making us better and better. And uh, if teams are going to play us like they did today and play us deep, we're going to be able to run the football and just keep, keep on going. Well, Patrick, great win for you. Congratulations. Enjoy the flight back before Denver on a short week, and we'll put that throwing contest with Josh Allen on ice for now. Yeah, maybe in the offseason. We'll get it going. <laughs> we'll look forward to that in the offseason, and we will look forward to talking about this coming up next. The Bills, why did they struggle? Started 4-0, now 4-2. What's the deal? That's next. Tonight on NFL Total Access, your three-part plan to the perfect night. Step one, Chiefs and Bills. The Mercedes-Benz post-game show. The Chiefs bounce back in a big way on the road in the steady rain to beat the Bills 26-17 to move to 5-1. and one. Travis Kelsey there, one of his two touchdowns on the night. He now leads all tight ends in receptions, receiving yards, and receiving touchdowns. What a night it was for the Chiefs. We're going to talk to Patrick Mahomes coming up in just a little bit. But, Joe, what was the first thing that jumped out at you when you watched this Chiefs offense? Was it the run? Yeah, well, yeah, exactly, the running game. You ask an offensive lineman if you like the running game. It was easy to say that I was impressed with the Chiefs running game tonight because they found a new way to win. They were able to do it on the ground with Clyde Edwards Alaire, who had 161 yards on 26 carries. And they're going to be asked to do things and win in a different way on offense this year. If teams keep playing that off coverage, trying to take away their deep threats, down the field. They proved to the NFL tonight they're not just a one-dimensional Star Wars throw the football down the field offense. They can win by a smash mouth offense and playing great defense. And Joe, that high riding offense is played on the outside. When you get Tyreek Hill, McCall Hartman, all those guys streaking down the field. But today they played a game inside. The rain wouldn't allow them to go upfield. The defense would not allow them to go upfield. So it was the running back and the tight end. And Travis Kelsey is simply the best tight end right now in the National Football League. I put Kittle up there with this guy right here, man. But I love this dude, man. He's a great, great dude. Great, great player. It, it, no matter what, blocks hard, runs hard. When he gets the ball, he, he, it runs after catch. This dude does everything. And as long as they got him, that's... Joe, that, not when we were talking about Grunk, that's a matchup nightmare. His name is Travis Kelsey. <laughs> mm. Well, I agree with you, Irv, and I also agree with you, Joe. But one thing that was uh, very surprising when we talk about the Buffalo Bills and their defense is their defense didn't show up for about three quarters. Their defense struggled. They had a lot of penalties. They did not control their gaps. They had a lot of blown coverages. And a Sean McDermott type of defense we have never seen before. We usually see those guys popping from the, from the first play to the last play. They weren't doing that. They started to come alive at the end in the fourth quarter, but they allowed three quarters of not showing up. They were okay, but they really let the offense down. And let's be honest, it's been two weeks in a row. I... Troy talked about it. I would hate to be in those meetings next week or tomorrow 
when Sean Mc, when Sean McDermott goes ballistic, because when you look at this team and you know what they're about, that was not the Buffalo Bills that we saw come back and beat the Los Angeles Rams.